I uh, touched on the vintage masters that we have vintage blues and vintage lock. Now vintage blues, uh, much like vintage locks, are a little bit lazy. But um, that might not be a bad thing. The last few times, if you watched her first video, she had made some breaks in the turns, training. She hasn't done that in a while. She looked great the other day training. She's been in 235 or 236, I think. And uh, we've been a mile and a half with her a couple of times now. I think once she grows into her big body, um, and her head and her head uh, gets in the game when the starting gate comes out. I think you're going to see the best uh, vintage blues you're going to see. Um, she holds back uh, training, and there's no need to be too hard on her. I know she's going to get there, and, and I have full, I, I have every expectation that once uh, the bugle blows, so to speak, you're going to see her uh, perk up and start doing her work properly. And and, and um, it's hard because. You know, we've had lazy horses before. Rose Run Speedster was a lazy horse last year. So was Bourbon and Barley. And both of them, when when uh, they got behind the gate, turned into real race horses. So in that regard, I'm not really concerned on either Vintage Lock or Vintage Blues getting there. I think they'll both get there. Um, as I said, we have 40 call, 39 now. Uh, 39 yearlings, two-year-olds now. They're not all going to get there. But I'm under the assumption they will in March. So we'll see how things progress throughout the next few months. But... This affiliate, I believe, will get there, and I think once she sees the starting gate and gets some real fast training miles into her, I think she's really going to like her work and, and like what she's doing, and she got a beautiful gate as it is now. So I have every reason to believe that uh, Vintage Blues um, vintage blues will get to the races, will do some, some good things for us in the, in the summer of 2017.